you will be consecutively translating Mark Vela's talk, right? Yes, I'll be playing the video and translating okay. and trying to say it not before him, but just at the same time or just after. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And how, long, how long is the video, by the way? One hour, no? One hour and 10 minutes. One hour and 10 minutes. One hour okay. 11. So um, it's long. Yeah, it's good. Um, it, yeah, it's really, um, it's interesting. I hope I don't have to stop it to catch up. Yeah, probably sometime in between you can just pause and ask people if everything is okay, you know, just to check. Okay, or you could send me a, if it's really bad somehow and I don't notice, you guys can stop me, right? Yeah, okay, sure. From here, I will, I will do that. But uh, because I have already heard once, so maybe for me it will be different. Okay. And I, I understand a little bit of French, so maybe for me it will be a bit different than yeah. the experience uh, by other participants. So just in between, just to make sure that people are with you, uh, you can pause and ask people. Right, okay. Make okay. them feel comfortable, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it, I have three screens to manage, you know? When I'm, I'm playing the video, I'm reading from another screen on the same computer. Ah, uh, okay. Wow. If you want to stop screen sharing and other things, we can manage from here as well. You okay. just have to let us know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll try it like this. Yeah. Alors, Deanne, tu vas traduire la conférence, donc ma conférence Quintessence, qui est en français. Tu vas la traduire tout de suite maintenant en anglais, en direct. Oui, Et... ça va être en fait. C'est parce qu'on a déjà vu, uh, vu la conférence avec vous. Um, je, désolé, je n'étais pas là. Uh, plus, uh, la semaine dernière et, uh, et en fait cette fois-ci on va le jouer uh, en français mais en même en même temps uh, on va baisser le son un peu pour avoir la musique quand même derrière et je vais je vais je vais lire au dessus uh, la traduction que j'ai fait wow 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 impressionnant <rire> on va voir on n'a jamais fait ça mais um, mais uh, on a fait un petit essai et on verra bon. si si je dure toute la... Je n'ai pas encore pratiqué pour une heure et dix à la fois, tu vois. J'ai wow. pratiqué un petit bout. <rire> L'important, c'est déjà que la conférence, elle t'est touchée et que tu vois du sens. Du coup, ça va, je suis sûr que ça va te porter. Bon, bien sûr, votre travail me touche. Je, je vous ai vu à un festival de chamanisme en 2013. Oui. Et, euh, et oui, j'ai votre DVD chez moi et ça fait... Ça fait un moment que je, je suis uh, familier avec votre travail et, et c'est impressionnant. Merci beaucoup. Mais écoute, pour te remercier de la traduction et tout ça, je, tu m'enverras ton adresse mail et je t'enverrai. Euh, okay. voilà, voir... aussi, je vous enverrai de la et musique. Va... Et, voilà. just, just, okay. a moment, just, just a moment to say to the people that the, the conference will be in English, even we, if we are speaking in French with Marc. And uh, Dion will translate everything. She will translate the... the the video and the video will be here you have them to move it will be here on zoom space you have them to you, you can stay here it uh, the video will be because there is music so it is a video it's not a, a talk in life and uh, um, dion will trans will translate in consecutive translation during the video you can hear mark a little and you will hear dion speaking instead of mark in english So you have to move, you can stay here. <laughs> Abel, tant que ça n'a pas commencé, je te signale, j'ai fait un mail à VEDA. Trois fois, je suis allé pour essayer de, de donner un coup de main avec 50 euros. Ils n'ont pas voulu mon argent, ça ne marche pas avec GoFundMe. Ah ben ça dépend des cartes bleues. Et... Il faut essayer avec Allo et So. Hello Asso, tu veux dire euh, Hello Asso, oui, pardon. <rire> ok, Marc. Et Pascal, il vaut, il vaut mieux utiliser Hello Asso parce qu'il n'y a pas de frais, tant que sur GoFundMe, ils prennent une marge. Ils prennent 3%. Tu n'es pas obligé, apparemment. Ah, c'est peut-être pour ça que ça passe. Ah, non, non, ils le prennent, ils le prennent. Et ils ne nous demandent pas. <rire> ils prennent 3% sur les dons. Ils sont très efficaces, Hello Asso. Ils sont très bien et voilà. Et tu peux faire un don euh, euh, volontaire ouais. ou pas, c'est très libre. Moi, je leur ai donné, je leur ai fait un petit don aussi parce qu'ils sont, c'est une très belle association, très, une très belle plateforme. 
Oui, mais ouais. du coup, c'est quoi C'est S-A-Y-M au sein que je donne ça à qui Sur les Non, tu, tu vas sur la, page, sur la page des contributions financières, participation okay. financière, et il y, a tout, il y a tous les liens. Comme pour le parrainage, quoi. Oui, OK. okay. Euh, sur WebIDEC, il y a sur la page participation financière. If you want to give something to the, for the WebIDEC, you have to go on the, on the website or on nepal.org, on the, the page of WebIDEC, and there is a page also for financial contribution where you can find all the information to, to give money. There is different possibilities because some works, some doesn't work, it depends on the people, it depends on the credit card and so on. So you can find all the, lot, all the solutions. Abel, meanwhile, uh, what's the percentage that we have? Uh, we, we can wait uh, two or three minutes before beginning. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I meant about the financial contribution. Did you calculate the percentage that we have received? Oh, at this time, it's... Uh, I, uh, yes. Let me see. Okay. Uh, at this time, at this time, it's uh, between 32 and 33 percent. Okay, okay. Just with to update the, with all the partners with 42 contributors. Okay. Okay. And there is, a, at this time, there is 1,046 registrations for WebIDEC. Genial. Donc là, ça va être diffusé sur, euh, sur euh, Los Angeles, sur, euh, sur... Ah ben, sur à, 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 cette, à cette heure-là, à cette heure-là, les, les gens ont accès dans, à, à beaucoup d'endroits, quoi. Mm. Je ne connais pas par cœur tous les heures. Hein. <rire> ouais. euh, c est, c est, à ce moment-ci, c'est 6 heures du matin à Los Angeles, c'est 9 heures à, à New York et Montréal. Euh, à Londres, c'est deux heures. À Kiev, c'est une heure plus tard. Il est, il est quatre heures à Kiev. À, à Delhi, il est sept heures et demie. À Katmandou, il est, sept, il est huit heures moins quart. 19h30, tu veux dire 19h30 à Delhi, oui. Ouais, ouais. Et 19h45 à Katmandou. Très impressionné par... Euh, très impressionné. Bravo, ouais, en tout cas. Et très honoré d'y participer. Voilà. Et puis, euh, merci vraiment encore à Déane, parce que ça a dû être un très gros travail. That was that was a great, incredible work, you know, because there is in this time for in between in these two weeks, there was, the the countries changed hours from uh, summer, uh, from winter to from summer to winter, and not in the same time, not in the same day, oh. not in the same hour. It was crazy, you know. <laughs> no, but it's precious. It's precious. Your web deck, it's a network of fools. Ah oui, c'est clair. Et puis, si on est en avance, on est vraiment en train de préparer la 5D. Quoi. Moi, je suis impressionné. Hein. Et tout le monde est lié. Enfin, c'est magnifique ce qui est en train de se passer. Hein. We'll see. Now we have to talk English. If, if, we, if we speak French, the people, they will, see, they will think that they are not in the good place. <laughs> we'll, we'll start the talk sh shortly. Like, we'll wait for another five minutes, friends, and then five, three minutes, let's say. And then we'll start, OK? OK. That's yeah. good, yeah. So. Mm. Yulan, you are here. I think Yulan, she is here. Yes. Yulan. Yulan. Mais c'est toi qui l'appelles. Mais vas-y. Eh, ça marche, ça marche. Bonjour. Oui, on écoute aussi. Namasté. Namasté. Hello, hello. Namasté, Yulan. Coucou, Pascal. We are, we are waiting. We are also waiting for the talk. On est très content, très contente. Ouf. Yulan, she, she, was in, she was in Nepal, so she was in Ashram for 10 months. Ah, oui, super. Uh, yes. It was not, it was not uh, at the beginning, it, it, should, it ought not to be like this, but she, we were in the same situation. We, there was no plane, so 
<laughs> instead of coming back in April, we we have we came back in in September. September, yes. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Just to let you know, all the new uh, commerce. Uh, we'll be starting the talk shortly. We are just waiting for people to gather. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. We can hear you, Mark. Mm. Ah, well, there's Armel who just arrived. Armel. Armel. Non, Armel, c'est Yulan. It was Yulan. On vient de lui dire bonjour. Armel, Yulan. Ah oui, je crois que c'était... Comme je n'ai pas mes lunettes, j'ai vu Armel, mais je ne voyais pas les visages. Effectivement. Bonjour, Yulan. Oui. Ce n'est pas Armel Six, elle, non, elle va venir après elle. Oui, j'ai vu ça, oui. Euh, sacré phénomène, elle aussi. Oui, oui. Euh... I think her talks will be her talks in French was were very intense. I think in English it will be the same, maybe. After Mark Vella, there will be a talk of Armel Six. She is from Belgium. She will give a talk about uh, natural learning, natural learning, soul learning. So Veda, shall we start? Yes, uh, the the link for dairy is 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 on is on the yeah. web. You know, I have sent you the link. Okay, uh, I just I just tried it. It directly downloads the file. It doesn't oh, nice, take me nice. to a page. Yes, it's it's normal. Okay, okay. So friends, shall we start? Yeah, we can. I think we can start. Yes, just yeah, yeah. a second. Okay. So we have amongst us this evening, we have Mark Vela. Mark Vela is from France. He is an amazing person. He has, uh, he's very interesting actually. So Mark Vela, as you can see, probably all of you can see where Mark Vela is. He's there in front of us. Uh, Mark Vela is a nomadic pianist. He's a composer, author, and lecturer. He has won first prize for composition at the team in Rome in 1999. He is also an author of bestseller, Eloge de la First Note, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> Eloge de la First Note. It's very good. He, Eloge de la First Note. <laughs> Elegy the... of, to the False Note. Okay. He is the founder of the Love Caravan, Caravan and the School of the False Note. With his grand piano, he has traveled nearly 300,000 kilometers. Very, very interesting. 300,000 kilometers on the roads and the paths of nearly 50 countries to celebrate the human nature, human being, the life of humans. So also, he came to Nepal two years back with his grand piano amongst us. We were like learning piano from him. And we had wonderful time here at the ashram as well. He gives concerts, conferences all over the world and intervenes in many environments, prisons, schools, universities, hospitals, etc. He is the creator of emergency concerts. He regularly gives workshops, living and joy, the music of life, intended for professionals as well as amateurs and laymen. La Caravan Amuros, the... the Caravan of love? Is that caravan of love? Yes. Loving, loving caravan. <laughs> the loving <laughs> caravan yes, was created, created in 2004 at the beginning of the international decade for the pro, uh, promotion of a cultural of uh, culture of nonviolence and peace led by UNESCO. To date, he has recorded 10 CDs. Several DVDs have been made about his adventures. So he's extremely adventurous, 
as a person and as we as i've already mentioned that he has traveled 300000 kilometers just to celebrate the love with his grand grand piano uh, i don't know if he has it uh, right now to show you but you will be i think uh, seeing that also so today's conference is quinton sense the title of the conference his conference is quinton sense in this conference he talks that when yourself and your nature are married the inner quint leading to your essence is realized then your quint essence is revealed with which the world hopes for as long as you are out of your quint essence life is shattering you mark villa this evening will be presenting a talk and you will be watching the talk on a video and it will be translated in english by uh, dion she is with us and if you find any interruptions or if you find any difficulty just tell us and we'll pause and we'll again carry on from there so let's welcome mark vela mark vela now it's your turn yes thank you uh, very much for being with us no no it's no much thank you thank you to invite me i'm very very uh, touch i'm very touch is very so good what you do it's so much important and uh, Voilà, je 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 suis je me sens honoré. I am honored. Je sais pas. I don't know. My English is very bad. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> But uh, well, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Your English is fine, Mark. Quintessence is um is a different translation of the title. Um the title could also be uh, the perfect fifth as uh the title in French is la cante intérieure. which means the inner perfect fifth so something like uh, a perfect fifth is something that's going to be explained in the video that we're about to show and it's a musical um uh a musical term uh for something quite specific that's going to be explained in the video as mark speaks but uh, quintessence isn't so bad either because it means um something in its purest form so uh the fifth and highest element in ancient medieval philosophy that permeates all nature and is the substance composing the celestial bodies so it could be quite quite uh, extravagant quintessence as marcus okay um i'm about to play the video can everybody hear me well yeah Yes. Okay, we're going to have to check if the sound of the video is right for those who can understand French and English because what we'll be doing is playing the video in French and I will be um overlapping it with the tra translation in English at the same time. Mm. So you'll just have to stop me or let me know if if it's too loud or too quiet this original sound of the video. Mm. your screen after the video there will can everybody see this video yes we can see your screen now okay and it takes up the whole screen okay um after the video mark will be speaking and i will do my best to translate him too <laughs> Put the mood. Wait, put, put the mood. Okay, tell me. Put the mood. Put the mood. La, la souris, il faut que tu enlèves la souris, autrement tu okay, vas pas... Ok, je vais enlever la souris pour qu'on n'a pas les... les... Oui, merci. And uh, the sound is, is very high. You, maybe okay. you can... Yeah, I'll, I'll lower it. Ok, I need to lower the sound and then... Yeah. The mouse is gone. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui, euh, dans la musique de leur vie, euh, euh, trouvent que ça ne va pas. Dion, Dion, ouais, Dion. Chose. OK, yes. The sound of the video is too, is too, too high. Long. Too high. Okay. Yeah, too high. OK, let's put it down. Um, let's restart. Let's try again. The, the, the Inner Perfect Fifth by Mark Vail. No. Il y a 
It happens to many people that the music of their life just doesn't turn out the way they want it. They're not well, something is missing. They don't feel perfect. Always this idea that nothing works. People cannot accept themselves, and their obsession is to change. And so we nourish that and we change nothing. It's like this. We stir it up and we stay in our suffering. In reality, it's like when I decide to no longer change anything, when I decide to welcome who I am, it's only at that moment that I'll be able to transform and be at peace and harmonious. Not in an act of war or willpower, but just by letting go. My work is to bring people to the piano and to bring them to take the risk of playing something on the keyboard. keyboard. What I've noticed is that most part, people are going to put their hands on the piano and play what they already know. They're going to play a C and then an E and then a G and they will make their music with these three notes. Really pleased to have done something very pretty. And evidently it's really nice, but at the same time they feel completely desperate. Because for years now they've been turning in circles around these very same pretty notes. And all those notes that exist around these three, the B, the C sharp major, the F, etc. They don't dare play them because they have this terrible fear of dissonance. It's really about that, the fear of the false note. It's something that I've noticed is recurrent, regardless of the person's level. Even professional musicians sometimes, uh, when I ask them to improvise, well, at first they're really intimidated, some to the point of trembling, and then they put themselves to the test, they start to play, and they fall into the same ruts, the same chords, the same harmonies. And finally, yes, of course there's technique, there's knowledge. There's no life. Afterwards, when we look at this in comparison to our lives, we realize that for certain people, when their lives take on a false note, it's a tragedy. It's as though there are times in their lives when it seems that the universe has conspired against them. They live through it with much pain, as though false notes shouldn't happen. And I think that we have a huge misperception about what a false note is. A false note does not break a harmony. A false note simply allows the harmony to grow. And that, that changes everything. In the end, it's a completely different perception of what music of life is about. Uh, nous we need to realize that this life music sends us all the time these false notes. What are these false notes? Well, it's death, sometimes it's sickness, and before that, well, it's accidents. And after all, it's all these false notes between us, all the misperceptions, the misunderstandings, the thoughtless blunders that sometimes lead to violence. But it is life. It is the music of life, and it's inevitable. When people become destabilized by the arrival of a false note, it's because, in fact, they were not centered in their own alignment. And so it's interesting for us to work this out on the piano, to be able to explain to people that when they play a note, such as a bass note, well, this note will determine the... The axis around which everything will settle. And to start, it will represent the self, what I am in my reality. And then this note will generate a double, which we call the dominant note in a harmonic series. It's this harmonic that's the most important. And what is most curious is that it will be found five notes later. The relationship between the tonic note and the dominant note is an interval of five. And this interval of five is what is called the perfect fifth. It is found in all the music of the world. 
c'est quelque chose qui est utilisé par toutes les cultures, toutes les traditions, et ce, quelles que soient les époques. Ce rapport de quatre, il est en fait très, très important. Is in fact really Parce important va nous permettre vraiment because it will allow us precisely de, de a framework cadre, within which we'll be able to play with all of these notes, cadre, even the false notes. Les notes même les fausses, et ce, avec une, in this with much très tranquillité, tranquility, très grande, much stillness, euh, qui est une much grande serenity. Parce avec ce cadre, on ne peut pas because with this framework, we cannot get lost. This is just, forehand. Just a moment, Dion. Can you stop a moment? Dion, can you stop a moment? How's it, how's it doing? Uh, the, the, the sound of the video is a bit too loud. If you can... Okay. Okay. Just... For me, I need it to be a... Okay, I'll, I'll try lower. Okay? Yes, oh, just a bit. I do need to be able to hear it so I can keep up with him. And uh, Dion. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I'm sending a message so that uh, just to let you know how it sounds like, okay? Just a minute, we, we, we stop to, to verify, okay, for every, with everybody. Uh, it's yeah. impossible for me to read a message, Veda, at the same time as I'm doing this. Mark, uh, it's, it's very really good fast for, it's, in French, and so it's really fast in English. Yes, it's very good uh, what you are doing. Uh, but just if the, the video is not so loud, it will be okay. It will be nice, I think. Okay. I'm very okay. Very, very Let's see. Let's. I'm going to go just back a little. You tell me if the sound is right. Parce que avec ce cadre, on ne peut pas s'égarer. Is that the right sound? La souris, la souris. No, it is not right sound. It needs to be yeah. lower. No, it is not right sound. The, the your click is Évidemment, is wrong. Okay. Okay, the first line, speaking? the first line. It's not the second line. First line, blue. Uh, right blue here. Bar, blue bar. Okay, I'm adjusting it on my computer, but maybe if I do it here in the volume on my computer, it's better. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Never done this before. This is good help. Uh, what about that for you guys? Elle va représenter le soi et la dominante. Qu'est-ce qu'elle va représenter? Bah, comme son nom l'indique, elle va représenter eh bien, ce qui domine chez moi. Okay, the sound is good now. A bit more, a bit, a bit more, just a bit more. A bit more now, okay. No, 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 the other side, the other side. A bit more less, slower. Less, slower, yes, like this. Okay. Stop, stop. Okay. Uh, here, where are we with Isabel? So we can go now. Yeah, 5.45, okay. Parce qu'avec ce cadre, on ne peut pas s'égarer. So this is forehand improvisation with Isabel. She's a beginner. Isabel's left hand plays the relationship of the perfect fifth. This allows for a dialogue between us and a large freedom Évidemment, for the play la between our right hands. Le soi et la dominante. Va... Evidently, the tone will represent the self and the dominant note. Well, what will that represent? Well, that will represent what dominates within me, or in other words, my nature. This nature, is curiously, is quite complicated to accept. As the dictum says, when what is natural is driven off, it returns at a gallop. Understanding that, this inner nature seems more powerful than you are. And that, even if and it comes back, even if we try to chase it away. Pour atteindre le, be le sommet de la conscience, I think that for je pense qu'il nous faut justement awareness, ne pas chasser notre naturel, I think that it would be much better not to chase away this inner nature, quelque chose, but instead to accept it de ta nature, and do something with it. Do something with who you are. Là, ce qui est le, this is perhaps for me the sense or meaning of the spiritual path. Is that better? C'est mieux? Yes, for me, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. La grande aventure de l'existence. The big adventure of our existence moi, starts for me with being filled with wonder at who I am. Et aussi de l'émerveillement de ces And also with the capacity to be delighted mes, at these false notes. Maladresse. At my own shortcomings, my own blunders. To accept them because I'm aware that it's normal. normal. That it is part of my human nature. 
This is something that we need to understand. Like, curiously, especially at school, we have been taught that to make a mistake is, is bad. Because each time that there was an error in our calculations, or in what we had written or forgotten in our citation, while we were penalized. Quand on a oublié ses crayons, when we forgot our pencil stands, when we were distracted, when we argued, all of these slip-ups or mistakes are part of our human nature. We will realize that this is something for which we are constantly judged, surveyed, and punished for. The result is that suddenly we associate our insufficiencies with something that is bad and for which we, we need to feel guilty. On our school report cards, there is a phrase that everybody knows, could do better. This could do better is not, not there to be mean. It's actually saying that you are capable, except that when you have a could do better on your report card, you're also given bad marks or other comments that aren't always so nice. So in the end, what you retain is that your little blunders or your awkwardness or your insufficiencies are, are false. C est, c est, you, tu deviens, finalement, you become, in the end, good for nothing, tu deviens, ce bon a rien, nobody, ce, cette personne, this person that will never tiré, lui, succeed at anything. Enfin, toute cette violence, jugement in the end, all this violence by judgments heard over and over is a real demolition of what we are. Ce que nous sommes. This, this could do better, we're going to carry it with us, and I'm sorry, I don't have any other words for this, but it's going to metastasize, we're going to find it in our, our life at every moment. In the morning we want to take a shower, standing in front of the mirror, repeating to ourselves, could do better. We are no longer capable of accepting ourselves, voilà, donc, this feeling of being dans, insufficient, insufficient dans, dans sa façon physically dans sa vie, insufficient dans, in our way of being, on, in our lifestyles, dans, euh, dans in our work in the office, voilà, les, in donc, our marriage, our relationship, in bed, de, au lit, au in, voilà, in everyday faire, quotidian, this could do better. Alors on essaye, alors on fait des efforts, toute notre vie, on est là. So we're constantly essayer, trying all the time to do better, de, de to prove that somewhere part, in our chose. life there's some sort Et of value. And this is what is so terrible. There is nothing to conclude, there is everything to experience. There is nothing to conquer, enfin, there is everything to cherish. We realize that human life is so short, voilà, qui dure, uh, it's so small in the scale of the étoile, lifetime of a star. Humaine, c est, c est une fraction, uh, so a human life is et, a fraction et, et of an instant. instant and during this one pas. fraction of an instant, instant on se considère une fausse note, du tout we venant, marvel uh, so little. Tu te rends compte? We consider ourselves voilà. a false et ce qui note. Est what is even more terrible is that what we have been taught is to look at, for the false note in others. Instead of looking at the other with wonder at beauty of what they are, or to be touched by them, to enter into resonance, to be open with them, we have been taught to look at others almost as though we were in inquisitors, and this inquisi inquisition is something imposed on our hearts, even if despite everything, La compassion et sympathy and compassion are present. Est présent. Il y a quand même un Despite altruism, Toujours, there's voilà, always comme some sort of counterweight. Verre, fruit, uh, like, côté, like that worm voilà, always present uh, in the fruit. De, voilà, où where on we're constantly, unconsciously, faille, défaut, looking for the crack, uh, the default. Et, et ça, and especially underlying that, making conclusions. And, conclusions souvent, and this often, bien, quite bien, hastily. Quite simply, be enchanted, and the world will offer itself to you.
tout mon travail, c'est d'amener les personnes à prendre conscience de ce qu'est une fausse note. Quel est le sens de la fausse note À quoi ça sert Pourquoi c'est là D'ailleurs, finalement, pourquoi la vie nous envoie des fausses notes après, Why does life ça commence déjà là. La vie, je l'ai dit tout à l'heure, nous envoie euh, les accidents, la life maladie, sends la mort, accident, la maladie, la vie, et, et je crois que les humains sont en colère. colère. Life. Parfois, on peut se demander pourquoi l'homme est en colère contre And la terre. Je pense qu'il a quelque part une rancune. Je pense qu'il y a quelque part une rancune contre la vie. Je pense qu'il y a quelque part une rancune contre la vie. Je pense qu'il y a quelque part une rancune contre la vie. Je pense qu'il y a quelque part une rancune contre la vie. Je pense qu'il y a quelque part une rancune contre la vie. Donc il y a une sorte de colère so a sort of qui fait qu'à un moment donné, il se venge until at some moment, voilà, de ça. He et et puis l'homme, il a, il a sa fierté, à la limite, je dirais pas ce qu'il a pas de ce soit la vie L'homme, il préfère se donner la mort lui-même. Ça peut parfois aller jusque là. Voilà. Il est comme s'il était maître de, euh, de son histoire. Life sends us false notes that we can accept. C'est ce texte de Vini, je crois, sur les destinées, destiny, qui traduit tout à fait cette problématique. Ça a toujours été la grande question, finalement. Est-ce que je suis le maître de mon destin, question. ou est-ce que am je suis un pantin, euh, euh, désarticulé, ou, ou tenu par des fils, anything. voilà, et je ne maîtrise rien. Quelque chose de, de plus grand que There's moi qui me dépasse, euh, m'amène là où je dois aller, même si je ne le veux pas. Ce n'est pas moi qui décide. Et moi, je crois qu'il y a les deux. I think that it is both. Il y a les deux. À la fois, c'est ce plus grand que moi qui me conduit vers là où je dois aller. Et en même temps, je crois que j'ai cette capacité de pouvoir être capable de jouer dans le monde de l'autre. Je crois que j'ai cette capacité de pouvoir jouer avec ce plus grand que moi. Je ne dirais pas d'égal à égal, mais je crois que c'est plus grand que moi. Et je ne dirais pas d'égal à égal, mais je crois que c'est plus grand que moi. Plus je vais m'abandonner, plus je vais m'abandonner, plus je vais m'abandonner, plus finalement, il se passe quelque chose d'assez étonnant. Et le plus facilement, dans le fin, quelque chose d'astonissant arrive. Plus je vais me mettre au service, quelque chose de quite magique. Et plus à un moment donné, le plus je me mets dans une attitude de service, plus grand que moi, le 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 plus grand que moi, le
The story of Cain and Abel is the story of two brothers who finally, well, there's Abel who is highly venerated, loved because he does everything so well. He's so well known, he's appreciated. And then the other, Cain, who is not so skilled, and so he is a bit forgotten, a bit broken, a bit ignored. And he looked down upon and looked down upon by the others, forgotten, and outstripped by that, jealous, and add to that he's not too intelligent because his jealousy, he kills his brother. So it's evidently for a more lazy reader, it would be, it would mean that Cain is guilty. He has killed his brother. That's really bad. Cain must be condemned. Now, if we look at a little bit further, we realize that what this story is, history repeats itself, tells us, is that especially with the white European civilization today, all those times we've gone towards the other, we haven't said, I love you. We said, we are the best. We are the ables. We do everything quite well. And you? And you, you are the kings, you are the inferior race, the lesser human, the underdeveloped. And so from this contempt, what has happened today? Well, the only thing that's happened, it's the killing of the ables that we are. This is why there are so many foolish wars. And what is the morality in all that? Well, to be act in beauty creates the beast. I remain convinced that in these times, to want to be the strongest is a foolishness. And this quotation says, nothing is in conflict with anything else. Everything is in perfect union. Nothing is in conflict with anything else. Everything is in perfect union. The secret in which all the miracles okay. lies therein. At the piano, when people play, what I've been able to notice is that as soon as I tell them they have the right to make false notes, I see a person who is suddenly able to breathe as though I've just lifted from him an enormous weight. And he or she has the right to make false notes. What is incredible is that suddenly all the people participating in the workshop feel immensely relieved. And what is even more incredible is now when the person plays, she will dare to play a note that comes out of her. And when she takes this risk, we feel it. We feel it already there in the unspoken. And as this person continues to play, I can see that the other participants are just smiling, their faces in a big grin from ear to ear. There's some sort of incredible joy the more this person dares on the keys. It's, it's like a type of permission that's given to the others, something quite incredible and completely freeing. And what makes everyone feel good right down to the very central part of themselves. Dare to play every note of this life with delicacy and play them in gratitude. Most people come with their story. They come with their wounds from life that are not so simple. Also, a large majority of them with the feeling that they're not worthwhile. This feeling I talked about earlier of insufficiency. And that life finally, life and love somehow, it's not for them. And so it's this suffering, this solitude, the solitude, it's all that that comes. And then there's also the society that's quite anxiety provoking, and these people that are fed up with it, with all these bad news, all the wars and the sickness. Sickness. And on top of that, this is all taken up by the entire world of cinema, 
The cinema, I believe, has been a tool of propaganda to bring us to unlove each other. If we look at the films like James Bond films, well, they're great entertainment, really well done, and I can understand why it's a film that entertains, it's really enjoyable. But these films, what are they saying? Be careful of the other, especially be careful of those beautiful women on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Stop playing games. Who was that man in your room? You're hurting me. I thought that was the idea tonight. Now, who was he? I don't know what you're talking about. Now, who's your connection? You sound like a cop. These images impact us. Who's they shape connection? us. They have the strong power of, em of emotional, persuasive identification. I'd like you to get off your chest. Diamonds are forever. <laughs> Where is Ernst Stavro Blofeld? Speak up, darling, I can't hear you. You see, if we take the cult TV series from the 1970s, The Invaders, you have to be aware, careful of everybody. These things aren't trivial. They are what's happening. With Roy Tinas in the role of David Vincent. Ça peut paraître anodin, mais mais c'est finalement ce qui se passe. D'ailleurs, c'est toujours cette notion de valeur. There's always this notion of human value or worth. Ma valeur, c'est quoi ma valeur? What is my worth? Alors qu'on nous a pas appris. Nobody has taught us what is our worth. In fact, we've all been taught the been taught the opposite. I don't have any value, or I'm not worth a whole lot. Our worth? A few dollars, nothing more. Dead or alive. Guys. Fifteen thousand, nineteen thousand, twenty-one, twenty-five, and eighty-nine. And when we assert ourselves, when we start to dare to show others our value. Right away, there are other people who will say, oh, hey, who do you think you are? We realize that these sudden bursts of self-expression are not accepted. Rarely are they accepted. More often, they are disturbing. We're not inventing this. The, great, the greatest artists have often been referred to as tragic figures, damned to suffering for art's sake. Why? Well, because everything they had been... Excuse me. The greatest artists have often been referred to as tragic figures, damned to suffering for art's sake. And why? Why? Well, because everything that they had been able to create during their lifetime wasn't received. Sati died in misery. Mozart, in not much time. Mahler, he had to wait 50 years. Camille Claudel, three quarters of them have lived in mis misery, often looked down upon, ignored. What force, what fire they had to have given despite this permanent rejection. And that for me, if you want to speak about the heights of human awareness, it is there. This is being aware. Is this ability to give, your, give yourself no matter what the price, no matter what the punishment, because it's stronger than you are. This desire to give a message or your vision of something because you can't do otherwise. These beings, for me, are our biggest spiritual masters. Curiously, these great masters, well, sometimes they drain, sometimes they smoke, sometimes they love badly. We are men. We are men. And I think it is impor important for me now, today, that we stop demonizing no matter what a person is. And for me, the height of awareness is that it's when I look at the other in front of me, I will be shocked by their beauty. It's going to start when I start to realize that their false notes and what they incarnate are the resonance of my own false notes and that they are a gift because I remember that the false notes do not break a harmony but the false notes allow you the harmony to grow. If I play a piece of music without false notes, I assure you, it will be unbearable. You wouldn't be able to stand it one minute.
Voilà, il y en a pour qui ça dure well, toute la vie. For some people that last an entire lifetime. Ça n'a pas de sens. C'est un single false note. It doesn't make any sense. It's unbearable. It's so straight and rigid and closed in. And so does the dissonance that by nature va bousculer, will shake it up. It won't necessarily break the harmony. Quite simply, it will propose an opening. What is it finally? It's like a window that will open or a door that opens. But behind it's all blackness, night. And so evidently our first reflex is to reclose the window and the door because it's frightening. And the idea is actually the opposite. It's to go through. And the difference is that it's no longer a wall, but a, but a threshold we need to pass over. Ma responsabilité en humanité. That is my human responsibility. Donc je vais it's, avec la dissonance it's to go part, with franchir the dissonance to go over this migrant. threshold. And so inevitably grow from this experience. The meaning of life is is to magnify the false notes. Parce que tout simplement, Mozart, Because quite Beethoven, simply, Mozart, Chopin, Beethoven, Chopin, all the composers, voilà, Brahms, Brahms Vela, enfin, Vela tous, all of them, huh? Hein? Je, You've noticed dit, how I am humble. Eh, eh bien, on se well, que, pourquoi, pourquoi we génial? realize why it's so cool. It's because in their music, there is dissonance. There are false notes. notes. Alors, but we don't hear them. Eh bien, Why? Well, we don't hear it because the music musician welcomes the dissonance. He puts it in his coup, piece, lui, and he, as a composer, il a cette has the responsibility of this note. note. Dit, he asks him, what do I do with it? He asks himself, quoi de cette note? what do I do with this Et note? Là, euh, c'est le sens de ce que j'appelle la responsabilité. And that is what voilà, I call responsibility. Habilitas. From Latin, habilitas. Habilité à répondre. Respondere. That means the en ability gens, to respond. On dit aux gens, tu n'es pas légitime. But we often say to people that they're not legitimate. You are not capable. You are not able for this reason or that. Alors que par nature, you don't take this. Tu es habilité à répondre. C'est ta nature. But by nature, you have the ability to respond. It is your nature. To respond to what? Well, to the false notes of life. We've taught people that somehow, by eliminating the false notes, by condemning them, we've taken away the sense of responsibility. People don't see the sense of the false notes, and so they don't respond to the false notes. It's often a big tragedy when a false note arrives, if a child at school cannot work, it's really serious. What will you become? You'll be a bum on the street. And if there are false notes in our love life, oh, that's really serious. You're obsessed with the false notes because you want to leave, because you want to escape. We treat this as though it's something really serious. And this doesn't leave us any perspective. And so we put people into fear, and when false notes arrive, not only do we put them into fear, we put them in place of the victim that has to stand the experience of the false note. Ah, it's not your fault. We do not put the person in front of his work, which is to accept the false note, to welcome it with gratitude and be able to transform it and do something with it, which makes it beautiful. And this is what the composers teach us. Why is it so shocking? Mozart, well, with Mozart, there's going to be dissonance. And then as we listen, we wonder, where is he bringing us? And then all of a sudden, he brings us to harmonic resolution. And it's this that stirs us. When the harmonic resolution arrives, wow, the sky opens up. The sky that was gray and heavy and charged, and all of a sudden the sun appears. And that is what is extraordinary. And we, the listeners, we cry. We can only cry. Why do we cry? As Mozart has just given us, it's the solution that's problematic. Why is music so important? Well, simply, because 
our et, lives et, et, et parsemé de fausses notes. are filled with false notes. Elle est pleine de toutes ces blessures, voilà, de, And all de these ces measures, entre nous, quand on the awkwardnesses frottait, voilà, between des, us, des the stories of voulu, I wasn't wanted. Euh, après, quand on grandit, And as we grow, dans la the awkwardness in our sexuality, violence, the school, the euh, violence, the stories. Euh, quand on est, euh, The break voilà, les histoires, puis les rejets, et puis les rejets, et, etc., etc. Donc on arrive etc. à tout ça. Et donc on arrive à tout ça. Et on ne sait pas quoi et faire. Et on ne sait pas quoi faire. Et on ne sait pas quoi faire. Et puis on écoute Mozart. Et Mozart nous dit Ça vous accueille. Ça vous accueille. Et regarde. Oh. Et en fait, ça nous souhaite. Ça nous fait du bien. Et puis, c'est ça qui nous fait du bien. Et puis, c'est ça qui nous fait du bien. Alors, comment le transposer finalement dans la musique de notre vie Donc, comment on le transpose ça finalement dans la musique de notre vie Well, it's simple. C'est déjà si je prends cette thing. attitude If I take this de, 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 vraiment de, du remerciement voilà, de, cette, de ces fausses notes, notes qui sont là, that are there, euh, qui sont là pour m'agrandir, tout d'un so coup, that I je, can grow, je vais saisir le sens all of a I will de ce qui me fait souffrir. Of what makes me suffer. Et quand on saisit le sens, And we capture this meaning, et bien tout d'un coup, on se libère well, de la all souffrance. Tout d'un coup, on se libère de la souffrance. De fait, l'harmonie finalement va, va s'installer, elle va se poser. Parce que c'est ainsi que les choses se font. Quand je vais prendre conscience de la dissonance, Once I'm conscious of the dissonance, eh bien, and I put je vais me in union en mouvement, with it, je vais faire ce qu'il faut pour I will la transformer. Tant que je me what is necessary to dans la colère, As long as I'm stuck in anger, I do nothing. I stay in anger. And even worse, it's this anger that is going to be used to handle the situation. And that puts me into anger against the person at whom I am angry. I begrudge you. There are people that pass their entire lives angry at others because once, one day, there was a blunder. Sadly, it's become very lucrative. For some people, this has become well lucrative. Suffering can be quite profitable. Donc, quand on en revient aux personnes, finalement, so quand when we come back piano, to the people at the piano, et qu'on leur donne la clé de l'axe, and we give them the key to finding their axis, et bien quand elles vont jouer quelques notes, center, et c'est très important, meaning the tonic note and the dominant note, c'est-à-dire que ça va être well, now, I'm playing a few notes on the piano, it's, more, it's important, and I point out that it's a few notes, tonale, it's going to be a theme of four, five, six notes, not more. Un temps de silence. Mais ce temps de silence... I'm just going to catch up. And so when we come back to the people at the piano, when we give them the key to finding their axis, their center, meaning the tonic note and the dominant note, well now, in the playing of a few notes on the piano, And it's important, important that I point out that it's a few notes. It's going to be a theme of four, five, six notes, not more. They're going to stop either on the tonic note or on the dominant. Pas, le silence, c'est pas une absence it's de time to breathe, a time of silence. But this time silence, of silence is not the silence, it's not the absence of sound, it's the opposite. The silence is when voilà. all the sounds are united, when they're in resonance. In this time of silence is when I don't play, I'm no longer in action, and I will be open to be present to all the notes that have been played, and I will savor them. I will savor just as much the notes that are in tune as the notes that are out of tune. And curiously, this time of silence harmonizes. It's the nature of the silence. The primary characteristic of silence is to give meaning. That is why, often in the music of life, things finish often by resolving themselves. With time. Leo Ferre says that with time, everything goes. I wouldn't... I wouldn't say that, it's, that everything goes. It's that everything harmonizes. It's very, very different. What goes with time goes is terrible. There's that notion of having lost something. When in fact nothing is lost. And we realize that all these notes that were played, that were given, that were received, et c'est ça le grand cadeau de la musique de la vie. They were given in order to expand our hearts, and is this the big gift of the music of our life often? Bien souvent, quand on parle de ces fausses notes qui nous arrivent, elles ne sont pas compris au début. 
Avec le temps, and often on with time, le, le cadeau, we are able to measure the preciousness, preciousness of the donc, gift. Mon les gens à, à, so so my work is to help people, people to come to this measurement euh, more quickly. Why wait a lifetime and sometimes decades? Même, dirais, plusieurs, or sometimes it's even gener gener several generations to get to the point à, à where we can be in gratitude. Et moi, mon travail, de dire, on peut être en and gratitude. my work is to say that we can be in gratitude right now. I'm always coming back to this idea of the height of awareness, an awareness that's not inaccessible, that is there in this gratitude toward what life is given. While people are playing, and for many of them they have never played in their life, just the exercise of giving them their own access on the piano, the tonic, the dominant, the tonic, the dominant, no matter what notes were played, even before, if they were played awkwardly, even if they were suspended notes, and so dissonance was present, just the act of coming back to the axis, well, suddenly everything is beautiful. Claudia R, first time at the piano. With her left hand, she applies the relationship of the perfect fifth. She listens to the notes played on her right, on the right, and savors the melodic phrases by stopping at the axes. Tonic, dominant. The aim is about to about living the sound, not about learning it. It's this that is very surprising. And so my work is to teach people to be able to open to be open to the notes that they play, that they have value, and their value is inestimable. And so we always come back to the substance of this work. The substance of this work is to tell people that they are of inestimable value. What is perfection? Perfection is the imperfect, loving itself and giving of itself. These are from the writings of Mark Vela, these quotations. When you have opened yourself up in your own inner nature, and so you are aligned with what you are, you, that your natural being will flourish because you have put it at the service of others. It's just that, to put oneself to the service of others using this fire of your inner being, this incredible fire, the wonder and beauty of nature. This is what I call the unfoldment, the unfolding of yourself which allows you to expand, to open up your wings and reach the summit. Why our civilization is tragic? Why is it that our civilization is tragic? I don't have other words, it's tragic. We can all take in and access the accounts. Our civilization is tragic because it has risen up out of this base, this pedestal of Greek tragedy. Why can't we manage to love ourselves? We aren't capable of loving ourselves because precisely we have this story, which is the one of Narcissus. He loved himself and it didn't bring him happiness. And thus, there's, en, there's en, enough en, in our en, stories en, to become schizophrenic en, because en, just a little bit later, we are told to love your neighbor like yourself. But if you love yourself too much, that's, be careful, that's Alors, narcissistic. And so why have we told the story in this way? Même, it's like the story of Icarus. Aussi, uh, the first man who flies, and look how he suffers. The moral, we must not fly, or at least not too much. And curiously, this Icarus syndrome repeats itself today, because naturally, by nature, the human being is loyal. He has a tendency to find guarantees for his beliefs. What he believes, he does. The story of Icarus is the fall. I don't know if you've noticed, but many people who manage to become quite high in society, they fly, they attain the summits, and they fall. 
On a vu ça dernièrement là, dans les We've élections. We've seen that gens, recently in the elections, they become voilà, qui rich, qui att pouvoirs, attain much power, and then all of a sudden they fall. La chute the fall of Icarus. Et il y a plein de personnes comme ça, curieusement. And there are so many people that this has happened to. They live their lives, donné, uh, they build, they build, uh, and then all of a sudden, I think it's unconscious. They do something and everything crumbles. Mais voilà, comme je le dis encore une fois, là aussi cette histoire se termine mal. It's a Chris syndrome. And again, this is another story that finishes badly. Why does it finish badly? We could have finished these stories differently. Different stories, different beliefs. The eternal, the eternal Icarus. Donc, euh, Icarus arrive à s'échapper du labyrinthe. C'est toute une symbolique labyrinth. en fait. Hein. C'est symbolique. Le labyrinthe, c'est le soi. Hein. C'est comme un labyrinth point, est est difficile d'aller au cœur de soi. C'est difficile de aller au cœur de soi. Et quand on arrive au cœur de quand soi, on arrive au cœur de soi, on va trouver une paire d'ailes qui nous attendent pour nous envoyer. Et il est là donc 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 pour nous envoyer. In this il case, the story finishes badly because evidently, because he's going to take the sky, it's a form of predation, ça. finally, et and it's inevitable, he falls. Bien, so how could we have told the story so that it finishes là, well? Well, eh bien, Icarus finds his wings, and what does he do? Well, he prevents others from flying. This, for me, is the sense of the story of a true Icarus. It is he who will put himself in the service of the others. So that they can unfold voilà, their wings. Va avoir les clés, les pour, pour se the other who has been voilà. injured, who has suffered. Give me a second to catch up with Mark here. Um, so he's saying that uh, Icarus finds his wings and what does he do? Well, he prevents others from flying. And this for me is the sense of the story of a true Icarus. It is he who will put himself to the service of others so that they can unfold their wings. This other who has been injured, who is suffering, who dealt himself, who doesn't love himself, and all of a sudden he's going to have the key, the tools to expand his wings. And so Anicarus is the one who puts himself to the service of this. Who is who I would call a being who takes action. Être agissant. Et un être agissant n'a pas besoin de voler parce que quand il fait ça, being who takes action doesn't need to fly because when he does that, the sky, it's the sky that flies through him. Narcissus who offers himself to the world. Narcissus, he loves himself and he has reason to love himself because he has understood that he is unique and he won't ever be repeated in the story of the universe. And he is what? Well, he gives himself the key. You know, you are the gift from this world. Give yourself to the world. Give yourself. This is what he should have done, Narcissus. Give himself. And you give yourself and you are received that super. You are not received that super. And that, if we could have told the story this way, it's, this, it's magnificent. And evidently, quite often, this not received this way. But that's okay. No expectation. Stay in your sovereignty. This is the sense of higher awareness, conscious spirituality. I give everything without expectation. We should all be narcissists. We should be looking at ourselves in the mirror. I am beautiful. Well, why? Well, because we live three seconds. And because we only live three seconds, instead of lamenting on what we don't have, be in wonder with what you have. It's true that we could have inherited the hips of the grandmother, the nose of the grandfather, or the opposite. But despite that, I am what I am. I am magnificent. Because you will never be repeated. And all the stars of the universe, all these galaxies, it's only one time you, one time this person is in front of you. And you looked at her with the eyes, and you looked for the, your eyes, and you looked for the crack, you looked for the default. But, but Marvel, this little being in the universe, and he will ever come back again. 
C'est juste une fois ça. It's just one time that lasts just a few decades. How can we not be taken moi, back in complete wonderment? De and I stay convinced that the mistreatment of humanity is in fact that we are Tant not conscious of this. De de as long eh bien, as I stay unconscious of the immensity of the other, uh, well then I'm je, marching je, towards je his detriment. I'll use him, I will try to fight de, him. De le battre, de le to dominate him voilà, because I'm not valeur. conscious of his value. Et comme je pas de and ma since valeur, I am not conscious of, his, of my own value, this war that I nourish within myself, I place it to my exterior, and it's inevitable that what I nourish on the inside, it's a Lebanon inside of me, because I reject myself. In the end, it takes form in the reality of the world. And that is what we call the equation of the mirror. And it's inexorable. Que nous what does la the false note, note teach us? Eh bien, la note, well, la the false note, I think, teaches us to open up our hearts. Nous à it teaches elle us nous apprend, to develop uh, empathy, elle nous la compassion, elle nous tenderness, and Tout quite simply love. Et c'est le défi de l'humanité. And this is the challenge of humanity today. As long as I am not aware of my own magnificence, that of others and everything else living, the mistreatment of this world will perdure. Quand je lâche mes croyances, I let go of my beliefs, voilà, et que j'essaie de m'ouvrir voilà, au mystère, and I try to open myself up to the et que j'essaie de m'ouvrir à ce mystère qui inévitablement va, va me bousculer. And when I try to open myself to this mystère, it's going to shake me up. Et c'est l'autre mystère. L'autre mystère, c'est pour ça qu'il fait peur. Et en même temps, il fait peur, et en même temps, il éveille un désir. This is why he scares me. C'est pour ça à la fois. He scares me, there is a desire. The other is all that at once. The other is the element. I would say he attracts me, and at the same time I push him away. It's both these at once. And this etymological sense of the word other, the one who takes me out of myself. It's completely normal. But there are false notes between us. Il y a parfois des choses comme ça, des blessures Sometimes qui sont there are wounds that have been built up énormes. through enormous misunderstandings. Et puis parce qu'il n'y a pas eu Because à cet instant there wasn't at this instant humor la bonne réaction, or a good reaction. Euh, et parfois l'hystérie. Instead, there was sometimes fear or hysteria. Sometimes it takes such a proportion that hysteria will drown the hysteria in front of it. Je crois fondamentalement I really think that this relationship to life rapport à la vie, à la musique de la vie, and to the music of life moi, un rapport de tendresse infinie. for me is a relationship with infinite Cette tenderness. It's life that can send us terrible things. Personnes, and for many tu people, it's that. AVC, you wake uh, one morning, you have a stroke. Tu un matin, et you wake one morning, and it's your baby that doesn't wake up. Voilà, ça la it's mort called du nourrisson. sudden et infant death syndrome, and so many things like that. There's so many. Life sends us so many terrible things. How will I learn, really, to open this heart? How will I be able to be capable to respond to all that? Whatever happens, love. I've been enormously angry at myself for years. I had learned that I had hurt another. I was speaking of traumatizing wounds. I can tell from my own experience. The person who has hurt can be very traumatized when he hasn't realized he has done so. And so I think in all these stories, there's not just the one who hurts and the victim. For me, there are only victims. The key for me was to be able to forgive myself. 
bah, d'accueillir. Voilà, to really open myself up to my inability for discernment. Voilà, beau dire, jeune, bon, my inability to measure the situation. We could say that I was young, voilà, but it's not an excuse. Just to vraiment, say that but what I tried mieux, to do to resolve this dissonance, this false note of life, de la vie, ça a été de justement de me, me pencher sur la, la question de la fausse note. On this voilà. of the false et donc j'ai écrit des life. livres là-dessus pour vraiment books me books dire aux gens subject, voilà, les fausses notes, c'est la vie. With the false notes of our lives ça peut être grave. might be mais, serious. They're inevitable. La, It could be serious, pardon, but it's the, the key to forgiveness and gratitude. La is that forgiveness and gratitude liberates soi, dissonance. Est justement quand il a pas pardon. The more est critical than the false note of your being is when there isn't any forgiveness. Voilà, qui la quand elle est and there are people who stay their entire lives begrudging, ça, nourishing their own spite, using it as a lever of power against others. This is a trap we'd better not fall into. Why? It's been proven in neuroscience. The trauma that is not accepted becomes a genetic marker for disease. And so if we stay with our grudge or our hatred, We will transmit it. It's like a type of damnation or curse. The day that you're in gratitude with your story, as I said at the beginning of the conference, the false notes of our ancestors and the memories that haunt us, the moment that I put myself in gratitude, the story of the great grandfather who committed an incest, the great grandmother who cheated somebody who murdered, in short, as Montaigne said, the entire human condition is written to us. Eh bien, quand je well, suis en gratitude when I can be in gratitude with all that, with what I could have done, that's what I was able to put up with, with what I was able to put up with, with all my ancestors eh bien, have delegated to me, there is a type of domino effect that works backwards. All of the dominoes put themselves back up just like that. And that goes all the way back to your ancestors. Everything that's been humiliated, everything that's been brought down comes back up again. So then it's not this everything passes with time. All of a sudden, your gratitude makes it so that everything takes on meaning. When you were there to give thanks, all of a sudden, your presence isn't any longer an angry presence. As long as you rest in anger, you nourish the guilt of the grandfather, the grandmother. It means that the fault is still there. The day that you give thanks, you are there to repair voilà all of that. Puissant. It's like Et this ça, type of instantaneous healing. And this is why it's so powerful. It's harmony. Ça, this harmonization. Donc, travail, this is the meaning of the music travail, of life. And so in my work, transforming the false notes of our lives into something beautiful, this is fundamental. It's an enormous key that changes everything. It makes it all of a sudden possible for me to consider things completely different. I look at myself suddenly with tenderness. I will look at my false notes with tenderness. And I will look at the other in front of me with his, his false notes with tenderness. I will be conscious of his grandeur. I will not try to get back at him because sometimes there are Palimpsest, these ancestors who are getting back at each other through us. There's no longer any of that. It says suddenly everything, all of a sudden, it's immediate. To, conc to conclude in this work, when people have played at the piano, just from their own access, we can see that it's integrated. Why is it integrated? Because they've played it physically. They're at the piano, they play, they prove the sentiments in their bodies. It's completely vibra vibratory. There's a cellular reprogrammation. The cells are no longer constructed with the fault of guilt but with the idea of the fault that allows us to grow, that brings us towards love, that changes everything. Make the false notes of life beautiful. Bonus, the exercises. How do the composers do it? 
How do we make false notes beautiful? Tout simplement, Quite simply, we take this note. Et cette note donc, va traduire le soi. And this note will translate the self. Donc, Inevitably, que, as I explained, this note is going to donc, generate harmony, and one of which is more important than the others. Happens to be the dominant, and appears a few notes later in the relation of the perfect fifth. De quinte, voilà que voici. Alors, assez it's quite parce extraordinary que, because how many, many fingers do I have? I have five. Donc, so each finger his note, and I will find naturally this relationship with the perfect fifth. In this relationship of the perfect fifth, we find everywhere. Et ça, ce sont mes axes. And so these are my axes. Comme dans la musique de la vie, like in the music of life, we have seven octaves, seven chakras, chakras seven, chakras, seven bon, doorways, points seven points of support, que, eh bien, which makes là, it that, well, jouer, I will play, I will explore this music of life that is there, but coming back each axes. time to my axes. Vous dire que le clavier représente we could see that the keyboard part, represents humanity. Les... The bass here, which represents a mood more abysmal linked to the earth. Here we will have the demons. At this point, it's too much darkness. People are scared. And then over here we have the sharps. That could represent the inaccessible sky where we find angels. The moon and the fable. And in fact, this Alors, point where the angels are, it's too high. To translate a phrase from a remarkable book from which is called Dialogues with, angel, with an Angel, which says, Man is bigger than the sky. You are bigger than any heavenly body. You are so big that even myself, I cannot see you. This notion of the vastness that we incarnate. And so it's necessary that there are these axes so that we don't get lost where we can find our points of references. Et quand je vais jouer quelques notes, je vais revenir sur mes axes, comme ceci. And so I will play a few notes and I will come to voilà. my axes. Ton tonic. Dominant. Dominant. On revient sur les axes. We come back to the axes. Et on a dit tout à l'heure, Eric Satie. And as we said earlier with Satie. Tonal. What does he do? Tonal tonic, tonic dominant, mode, which gives the mode, mood, mood, like this one, here's the melody. And then what does he do? Et qu qu nous fait? And then what il does he do? He starts with the dominant, dominant. Et il la and he falls on the dominant and he stops on the tonal. In fact, the musical re respiration is based on the axis, just like in life's music. There you go, that's going to happen. There's going to be dissonance. Like always, we rub up against each other, we hurt each other, we don't understand each other, we are awkward, we're not fair. This is life. And so we need to go back to these axes, to this time of silence, of assimilation, of forgiveness, of gratitude, which allows us to understand the meaning of these false notes. We can look at many examples of this. Earlier I evoked Ravel. Stop on the tonic. Stop on the dominant. Stop on the dominant. Stop on the tonic. And the musical respiration is long. And because it is long, it stops and breathes on its points of support, the axis. If we take the funeral march of Chopin, Well, he starts with two perfect fifths here. He has these two perfect fifths, which are his axes. And on the right, he starts from with the tonal, tonic. And we notice that the theme is really short, only three notes. So we can see that he starts from his points of support, and he will never let them go. If we take prelude number six, And here we have our relationship with the perfect fifth. The triple that determines the method and the melody, the tonic, triple, dominant, triple, dominant. 
Et ici, on a encore les accords tonal tierce. Donc, on les accords tonal triple. Ne s'égare pas. The composers don't get lost. Façon, when they do, when they break free, it's very good. Tout, and in the end, they always come back to these axes. Donc ça, vraiment très, très, très important. That, that is Donc, really very important. Musical, and so on the musical bien, level, how, piano, how can we play doigts, on the piano? We can visualize the, these five fingers. So why the number five? Because the number five is sacred. It's the feminine number. It's the number of transformation. In this transformation in life, I have five fingers. I'm going to transform matter, the clay, to make vases. I will transform matter with my fingers. Uh, eh bien, in the music, en musique, je I will transformer la dissonance transform avec the dissonance ma with my perfect fifth. Ce chiffre 5, on le This number five we find everywhere. The earth has five continents. The earth continent. transforms itself. Biogenesis voilà, mathematically, mathematically transforms the number of five. There you go, five euh, elements. You can find many examples of this number five. The translates the force of transformation. The secret number we find in great traditions, notably in the Tibetan swastika, two five symbols crossed. The symbol curiously is the symbol of prosperity, the symbol of abundance and riches, and of good luck. Well, because as soon as I transform, inevitably prosperity arises. And so music is the same thing. I have my axis, and I will play as I demonstrated earlier on my points of support. And I will stop on the tonal. Tonic. Let's admit there are false notes. What happens? As we can see quite well, if there are false notes, well, everything's fine, it's no big deal. As an exercise, it's interesting because everyone can do this themselves at home. We take our piano, we take our little hand, our little finger, tonal, thumb, dominant, and right away we visualize the piano. And we have our points of reference and we can play. As a reminder of the short theme, three, four notes, Donc, As we saw with Chopin, with Satie, the short theme re 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 comes back si on its faites, axis. This is an exercise that can be done vous to interiorize. Si you don't interiorize it, you're just doing it. You don't interiorize it, you're just doing it. You don't interiorize it, you're just doing it. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to catch up a little. Um, so, um, you don't interiorize it, you're just doing it. For it to be interiorized, you are no longer in this relationship of the student who judges his notes, but really in the place of the evolved master. You play this note, and it's always the same thing. Savor it. Well, it's not the one you wanted, no big deal. You welcome it and peacefully, calmly, it will, it will bring you towards your axis. And there on the axis, you savor it. And you go into a type of prayer, meditation with your left hand. And there you end on the dominant. Toujours la même chose, savourez-la. Accueillez-la. C'est pas celle que vous vouliez. C'est pas grave. Savor it. Vous Welcome it. Tranquillement. It wasn't what you wanted, no big deal. Comme ceci. Et là, sur l'axe, vous savourez. And there on the axis you save it. You go into a type of... Yeah. And then you, turn, you end on the dominant. And you will simply realize... And that you are capable of, voilà, que souvent, la of depth, a décrit comme that you are capable of creativity. And to conclude, Et puis pour conclure, eh bien, dire simplement I'd que, like to simply say that in life's music, we could understand this way, that I banalize false notes as though I condone them. As though, after all these years, I say, well, it's still no big deal. It's not this. 
I'm saying it's not something that we are trying to do. The false notes do themselves. This is like it's to have tools to no longer be diminished, to no longer fall into depression, either of guilt or of suffering or of anger, to realize that this is how it is and that I have the keys to make it beautiful. This is fundamental. This changes your life completely. Second encore, Mark Vela, Improvisation in E flat minor, a short theme. These two notes echo and repeat each other. Two notes in silent and a silence. These two notes echo and repeat each other. The theme is taken up and forms the pace. taken up and forms the pace. In utmost restraint, the theme is carried in permanence. This simplicity invites flight.
the musical phrase. What is perfection? Perfect is the imperfect that loves itself and gives of itself. Perfection is the imperfect. Quand tu t'es accueilli dans ta nature. Voilà, et que du coup, à ce que tu es toi, et que ta nature s'épanouisse tellement que tu la mets au service des autres. Ce n'est que ça, se mettre au service des autres en utilisant ce feu qui est ta nature, ce feu incroyable, et merveilleux. Ça s'appelle pour moi le déploiement. Le déploiement. Du coup, qui permet d'ouvrir les ailes et qui permet finalement d'atteindre ce sommet. Ok. Okay. Thank you very much, Dion. There is a, a special situation, you know. There is a big, big storm where Mark is living. Okay. And he has been disconnected at the beginning of the video. And oh, no. all the time he tried to connect. And I, I can see a few seconds come in again and then disconnected again. So Mark is not here because Internet is impossible where he's living now at this time. Oh no, <laughs> that's terrible for him. That's that's a, a false a false knot of the life. <laughs> yes. So, so what are we can't... going to? How are you going to create resonance with this one? He tried to connect, but he can't. He can't be here, and he can't. He can't answer to the to the questions, and he can't share with you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the storm is the first knot of this talk. <laughs> so I, I know he's trying because I phoned him. I, I can phone him. I, I know he, he's trying to connect, but internet doesn't work. For those of you who ask why we didn't make subtitles, um, we tried to do subtitles, but um, we're we're just volunteers trying to create a really nice conference and um, I wasn't able to figure it out myself and um, I don't know Abel you had some problems too trying to create the subtitles. So it was a big big translation and really difficult to get that into subtitles with our know how. It, it might be uh, it might be a good idea um, to to if you want to show videos, especially if they have music in it, to let the people watch them on their own um, by YouTube, for example. Because yes, yeah. uh, if, you, if, you, if you stream this video over Zoom, the quality is... Yes, is we, know that, but we know that, but uh, we have in French, we have the video in French, not in English. Uh, okay. That's that why we reason. do like this. Ah, okay, I see. It's it, and yeah. we didn't we didn't. It was impossible to do it with the subtitle or so on because we haven't the, the we haven't the things to do this. We 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 don't have a, we don't have powerful uh, laptop. We don't have the okay. an application to, the application to do this. So we have to we have to, we have we try to do the best and we have found this way to do it. It was uh, the way to do it because it was a big, 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 big job to translate all this, all this uh, talk. And it was impossible to do it in a, in a professional way to, to put in YouTube, you know. We did not. There's a function in YouTube. Uh, um, YouTube can translate automatically. Yes, I know that I tried, you know. Uh -huh. In two hours, I have done six minutes. Okay. And that's, the that translation was, that, would be very good, I that think. That was a very big, very, very big, and I, I did not have the time to do this. You know, I can't, I can't take hours and hours to do this because I, 
I was working a lot for WebIDEC and no no time to do this kind of work. Okay. That's why, and that's translator, why like I volunteered volunteering mostly my time. So um, it it's um it was a lot of work to translate that video because uh, one my French isn't as good as a native speaker, so I had to listen over and over and over to what Mark was saying. Um, in French, because I didn't have it in writing, I had it in um, only in sound. And sometimes I had to stop and go run and ask a French native speaker, what was he saying? What is he? What's that word? That word? That one? And it was a word I knew, but I couldn't hear it because my French isn't as good as somebody who's native. And so the translation. Um, oh, Mark is here. Mark, can you hear us? Mark? Yes. Yes. We are Hello, Mark. Yes, uh, no more mini problems. Stop, uh, start, stop, start. Uh, internet, uh, very pro many problems. What's not? What's not? What's not? Okay, so I think we can take some questions if people have. And but in between, if something goes wrong again uh, because of the situation, then you can always pose the questions and we'll send it to Mark and then he'll re try to reply you. Let, let's do that. So, Mark, you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sh shall we take some questions, Mark? Derry, you want to you want to share something? Derry. Okay, you can share. Host has stopped me. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, it's my video that's been stopped. Okay. It says the host has stopped my video. Yes, at the beginning I have lost all the videos because to 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 make the quality better than. Okay. I don't know if Mark can hear me, but I I don't really have a question. Just a, a sharing of. Uh, hello. Yes. yes. We can hear you. Oh, you can. Okay. I can hear a lot of other people talking. Um, okay. Well, I'll try anyway. But uh, there, there are two or three other people talking. It's. Uh, I just really wanted to say to Mark how much I enjoyed. Uh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone, Derry. Oh, he's gone. Okay. <laughs> but say it anyway. Well, I, I put my comment in the chat. Maybe he'll see the chat. Uh, no, there's just too many people talking. I'm sorry, the three or four voices going at once. Someone oh. hasn't muted. Well, there was a quiet, a quiet moment there. Um, yeah. Hello, hello. Oh well, I wanted to say to the translator, you did a wonderful job, and don't feel bad about it, Dion, because I could follow it all, and uh, y y it really made sense to me. I'm also an improvising musician. I call myself a jazz musician, but I'm probably more of a an improvising musician and after many years I've been able to get myself a piano of the same kind of quality as Mark's and it's wonderful to sit and uh, look at the keys and 
think, what's it going to tell me today? And uh, I often ask it questions. One of my favorite questions is, where does love come from? And then, I'll, <laughs> then I'll just play for a bit and see if the notes tell me the answer. They never do quite tell me the answer, but they sort of hover around and tell you a little bit of it. And the nice thing when you were translating, Dion, was I put that little silly thought onto chat. And a couple of minutes later, you said almost the same thing. <laughs> a little bit of synchronicity there, which is, which is very nice. It was lovely. And thank you for all the work that you all did to bring that to us. Well, that's beautiful what you said, Derry. Um, I love that image you gave us. I'm sure Mark, when maybe we can give him a recording of this talk, but um, I'm sure he really in, would enjoy what you just said. Something I would love to do is sit at my piano uh, while he was sitting at his and just see what happened. <laughs> Improvising with Mark. Yeah. Yeah. I bet it'd be beautiful. Two poetic souls. <laughs> yes, Derry, what did when I introduced I can't hear you, Vida. Can you hear me now? Better, not perfect. Yes. Try again. What about how about now? That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, uh, did you did you get to listen to the introduction of uh, Mark Vela in the beginning? Uh, no, I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't get in until I. Ah. I, I think I missed the first fifteen minutes or so. Ah, okay. Just, let me just recapitulate what uh, what kind of uh, musician he is. He he has an amazing and adventurous life. He has traveled about three hundred thousand kilometers carrying his grand piano. Do you know that? Well, I think I read that in your introduction. Yeah. Ah, great. Yeah, yeah. And he came to Kathmandu as well. He he traveled with his piano all the way to remote areas in Nepal as well. So he has been traveling with that piano where, to everywhere. It's almost impossible to believe because it <laughs> sounds very beautiful and it sounds perfectly in tune. So does he take an army of piano tuners around with him or does he... Has he got the skills himself to tune his own piano? Because I only have to move mine half a meter. And he <laughs> needs to be tuned again. Never mind carrying it up mountains. <laughs> yeah, when he came to Nepal, he, he was with a group. So it was a bit easy, I guess. And uh, we were also there to carry that piano because it's, it's a grand piano. You can imagine. I think you have that, right? You told me. Yeah. So uh, he carries like, uh, what do you call those uh, uh, stuff that, that you can put piano on and then you wheel it around, you know, to, to move from one place to another. So he, he has to carry a lot of stuff along with that. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. amazing. It's extraordinary. I, I was actually helping him and I tore my pant actually last time when he was here. <laughs> oh no <laughs> um, so many electric instruments now which almost they the samples come so close to the real thing but they're never quite it so he would never it wouldn't be quite the same with electric instrument but for heaven's sake it would be a hell of a lot easier <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that makes him so original Mm -hmm. Somebody is asking Derry for you to play for us, you know, Srinivasan, uh, Srinivas Kumar Yarapattu is asking you to play some music for us, it seems. Yeah, we'd like to know what love sounds like today. I can't guarantee it will come, that's the trouble. Uh, let's go ahead, let's go ahead. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. Well, you'll have to give me a, a little while to get... Um, to get to the piano because it's not in the same part of the building. Yes, don't uh, sure. move it around because it will be out of tune. Exactly. That's <laughs> an excuse for not doing what you ask. <laughs> <laughs> we can invite the dissonance. But you have a laptop, I see it. That's not so... 
difficult to carry around. I think there is trying. <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Abel, do you know anything about Mark? Is it impossible to join in? Yes, it's impossible to join him now for the moment. It's it's possible to I can join him in the in the phone, but maybe. But uh, and I. I have aunt is is I, I have the phone of the house. You know there is a lot of children and and people in the house. Ah, okay. okay. Daddy. Wow, thank you. Thank you. That was Deli Vela. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, we speak the same language. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, the language of music. I've even been known to play a tune once or twice. <laughs> right, my wife thinks I've gone crazy. I'm wandering around the house for the long time. Trouble is the battery is nearly flat and there's nothing to plug it in in my music room. Just tell her you're giving an international concert. There we go. <laughs> so I, I think if you have any questions, uh, we can pass it to Mark Vela and he will reply it to you. If you have any queries, if you have any questions, and that's what we can do. And this is you have to let your you have to let your email. So if you want, yeah. Uh, can I? Yeah. Excuse me. Yes, uh, can we see. Can I ask one question about uh, uh, music education? I would yeah. like to ask because I made a kind of uh, workshop. And the parents wants to know how to learn music efficiently. <laughs> I did not understand. Uh, in childhood, efficient, efficiently. How to learn music efficiently in, in, in childhood. How to learn and efficiently, that, not goes to, that, that doesn't go together, you know? How to learn? It, it, it can be a good question. Effic yeah. Efficiently, when, with music, my experience is if you want to be efficient, you have to go to the classical way, you know. I have, I have learned music without nothing. I don't know how to read the, the notes, but I can play music and I can do very nice things and I, uh, people can play music quickly but not efficiently if you are playing if you are learning with the life if you are learning with the your heart with with your ear with your intuition it can be you can't say it will be efficient at the people they want to be efficient you know okay uh, in learning efficiently 
Yeah. I think she might means like um but playing is the like best way for the children, you know? Yeah, playing quickly. Playing okay. is the playing is the best way for the children to learn every everything, language, music, sport, everything. Playing is the best way. I play. Mm. Yeah. So it's not they best, are forced to play. They are forced to play every day. However, when they when they're old enough. They have their own power. They stop playing. That's that's the difficulties in this world. You know, we are you are forcing to do the things, but pleasure, joy, pleasure, and 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 uh, freedom, and playing is the best way to learn. So the parents uh, the, the parents ask how to change this. How to change this. To change what? Change. Uh, they they stop playing. How to persuade them to play again, or how to change this situation? It, it's normal. They they don't want to play when it's not a play. It becomes a uh, something uh, awful. If you are if you are forced to do something, it's not a play. It's not a joy. It's impossible to. It's normal that the, the children they don't want to go and. You, this is Thomas. Can we I to, add something? Yes, Thomas. Well, it also starts with just choosing the music to be learned, right? Because as uh, as you're saying, um, it's not fun if somebody else is make, making all the choices, like what music you're going to play, how you're going to practice it, and what's the performance levels. If the young people are making the most of the choices about what instrument, what music, then of course it's going to be a lot more fun for them, and there's no reason to stop. But if there's some uh, force involved and other people making the choices, of course it's not them doing it to begin with, and there's no reason to continue. And Dion was trying to share something uh, I saw here just a, a minute ago. <laughs> Me, Thomas. Um, yes. I I just um, I think the the problem was in the word play because we we use the word for playing the piano, and we use the word to play like as we play all animals play to learn, not playing an instrument, but they play to learn. And what Abel was saying was, we need to be able to play to be able to learn anything. And if you watch any species, it's the same thing. And the problem with forcing children, or even if we take out the word force and we put in any kind of dictation of, of what you're saying, Thomas, um, the type of music, the choice of the music, the time to play, if we enforce anything on, the, on a young musician, we're almost guaranteed that that musician is going to get disgusted with either us, the music, or the complete association of the two. And that's really sad because if we could just let children experiment on a piano, especially a piano, each note is perfect as you play it. It's that sound. With, with their friends. With their friends, with their, with their parents, with, them, with their dog, just let them play. I see Derry. Derry's trying Derry. to talk here. I'll, I'll unmute. Uh, unmute yourself, Derry. We can't hear you. Okay. There, now we can. I, I, I think the play in the sense that animals learn to play, that young humans learn to play, I think this is beautiful. When I, 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 and I think children should just have the opportunity, if they haven't got instruments in their house, to visit places where there are lots of musical instruments mm -hmm. and let them play and see what happens. Um, I found that I had an aunt who had a piano. And when I was quite small, I used to listen to a show on the radio called the Billy Cotton Band Show, which was all the latest hits, which wasn't particularly wonderful music. But I found at about the age of three or four, I could pick out, I could find these melodies on the keyboard of the piano. And then 
a little bit later, my mother sent me for music lessons and I wanted to show my music teacher how clever I was. I could play these tunes that I'd heard on the radio and she told me not to play that rubbish and that I was forced to learn, um, you know, the usual stuff ending up with sort of Mozart sonata in C, you know, the one dum, 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 da, da, dum. And, uh, and then being entered for music festivals, and I said this yesterday, there's nothing more unfestive than forcing a load of kids to play the same piece in front of some stony-faced adults making critical comments about your playing. It's guaranteed to put most kids off music and it put me off music, and I thought, can I use the Irish for form of a word? I thought, fuck, uh, excuse me, that was not the Irish form. Feck this for a game. I'm not playing their stuff. But I carried on playing privately, persuaded my mother to buy a piano, and then I met a friend's dad, who was a wonderful jazz guitarist, a professional jazz guitarist, and he said to me, those little left-hand accompaniments that you put to these tunes do you ever get bored with them and I said yes I do they're incredibly boring and so he said well why don't you try this and he explained harmony to me and chords but he didn't tell me what I had to play that was the thing and he'd sit down with his guitar and show me what improvising was and it was like flying it was like you know suddenly I was Icarus I could fly and uh, so you have to let kids find their own way, but give them encouragement and give them some models. The dilemma I have is if you let kids just play with a room full of instruments, that they don't wreck the instruments. And I think it's very important that they don't because the instrument isn't there the next day for other people to enjoy. How do you persuade kids not say, to see what happens when you hit a piano with a hammer. It must be good fun, but it doesn't do much good for the piano. I'd be interested in people's thoughts on that. How do you let kids be free to explore without controlling them at the same time, not allowing the instruments to be damaged? Thank you, Daddy. May I have one question? Yeah. I would like to. We have just just to know. We have just two minutes. After there is a, another talk with Dion, um, not with Dion, with Armel. Okay. Armel will will have a talk after, and so we will begin in in four or five minutes. So just last question, and after we will close. Okay, um, I, I will say in French. Then you can translate Dion, please. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know. You say we have to play, just let them play. But what about Mother Earth? We are playing with Mother Earth. And we have got so many false notes on Mother Earth. What is your point about that? Can you yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Donc en français, c'est plutôt... On peut... On joue avec uh, la mer terre et il y a tellement de fausses notes avec la mer terre. Yeah, you I can stay in English, Dion. There's so many notes with Mother Earth, but the there's so many false notes with Mother Earth. Like, I think you were talking in one of the comments um, about um, earthquakes and and P natural pollution. Yes, pollution. So many bad things. So, what is uh, what is your point? I mean, Derry or Thomas, what is your point about that? Doria, I don't quite understand the question. I think I children think... should be allowed to explore different instruments until they find one that works for them. And then if they ask for lessons, sure, give them lessons, give them all the encouragement. And if the teacher finds that the kid is beginning to find the lessons a bit too much. Okay, slow the lessons down, stop the lessons, create some space for the kid to explore, and then wait for them to come back and ask for more lessons. Because I think that's what happens. As long as I, you don't force them down a pathway. 